Pipeline 2023. We're here in Milwaukee. They've got, I think, roughly 50 plus new tools that they're introducing today. Not all of them really make me super excited, but there are definitely some really cool tools that I'm excited about. I want to show you guys. You guys let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'll even try to share with you some of the game-changing tool innovations that really don't affect me directly on the day-to-day, -day, but I still am excited for, and I still think that you guys might be super excited for. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see what they got. Oh, router, dude, router, look at this thing. Half-inch router. We, we use the quarter-inch router, but this thing, I don't know. I'm gonna find out just how beastly it is. It is super ergonomic feeling. I love this nice strap. We've got the different base, the kind of the handles that a lot of people really like. We can very easily remove this. Uh, we've got a couple different base options. Got a nice plunge base. Also, we've got this guy here that you can hook onto and use on a track. Good stuff there, but let's go ahead and let's put a bead with the router and see just how it performs. So we're gonna use the uh, high output 6.0. They're claiming 225 linear feet. That is with a round over in pine. I'm just looking at some of these depth adjustments. We've got micro adjustment for depth. We've got RPM here. And uh, we got the on button. So that'll, that'll throw some dust chips really quick. Feels super smooth, well balanced. I like the way it fits in your hand, and I think this base is gonna be really nice because we do a lot of window and door openings on sheathing, and that seems like it's gonna be a very comfortable fit. This is coming out, I do believe, in September. 9-1 shipping. I don't do a lot of concrete, but we do do some, we do do, we do some site work. This is super nice because obviously no gas. I swear, every time I pull out something like my snowblower or a mower after a season, it doesn't work, right? Well here, we don't have to worry about that. We just turn it on, we choose a speed, which we're gonna go, we'll go ahead and go rabbit speed. And then we hit forward. When I get to the end of a wall or somewhere and I wanna turn around, I can just hit the reverse. It doesn't hit me hard, but it hits the ground hard. Look at this, we've got nice, Nice solid compaction, all from the power of battery. We've got the brand new Red Lithium Forge in here, 12 0. That's coming next year. I think the 6 0 is coming this year. 35 minutes of continuous runtime and up to 5,000 square feet of coverage. I'll right, put that in perspective. I'm going to be building myself a 45 by 80 workshop. This would have no problem with one battery compacting that whole site. Absolutely. That's impressive, man. This has nothing to do with carpentry in a sense, but we are going to cut some wood. This is the new telescoping pole saw can already see how tall it is. We're gonna go ahead and make a cut first in this eight inch ash tree. Let's go ahead and let this rip. Okay, so that's impressive, right? But I think what's really nice is how easy it is. Go ahead and extend this thing out. Now let's say we got that hard to reach tree limb way up there that's how can you not be happy about that that is pretty darn cool so i don't know when this is going to be available when is this going to be available jake uh, november november perfect time to go out and get all that stuff trimmed up before the winter time this is equivalent to a 2.3 horse cutter there's no cutter pole saw cutter like this on the market that is as powerful as this one doesn't matter if it's gas or battery power and that is impressive You got to give it a cut, buddy. That's pretty nice. It's it's one of those things that you just have to like kind of experience. You know, you watch somebody else do it; it's cool. But when you actually do it, it's even better. A lot of power too. Yeah. All right, just for fun, I've got the 12-inch top handle. This is a premium saw, best in class. And Greg's going to run this. This is an 8-inch pole saw. Okay. So just to give you an idea how, we haven't done this yet, so I don't know how this is gonna turn out. You ready, Greg? I think so. We'll see how it goes. Okay, just get ready here. I don't know. Hey, how do you guys like my chaps? Uh, they made me wear them, but safety first. You ready, Greg? Yeah. One, two, three. Okay, 
that's probably on me. I didn't go into that cut exactly how I wanted to, but I'm I'm not even trying to make this look bad. This is a good saw. That thing's impressive. That is impressive. Good job, Milwaukee. Yeah, that's the one I have now. Yes. Yeah, so yep. one of the biggest differences between Gen 2 and the next generation okay. is around sound. So I'll go ahead and fire this one up first. You go ahead. So yeah. we're going from 62 decibels to 57 decibels on this next generation blower. Um, this is up to 25% quieter than the competitive set. Nice. That's a nice, easy on and off. I mean, sometimes this can be a little bit cumbersome. Yep. And looks like you guys really nailed it on that. All right, we had to go ahead and give this a try. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and we're gonna blow some leaves. Feels pretty good, nice and comfortable. This is nice and swivelable, so it's not always locked into one position. We've got our trigger, we've got adjustable on speed always, we've got different speeds here. And then he, this right here is gonna show us, we've got four total battery slots. We're only running this one with two batteries. So you can see my, uh, my battery usage, I guess. This is something that I can stand behind because it's a tool that if you use it once in a while, you don't have to worry about a gas motor. This is completely battery powered. This is the 24 inch edger. So it's gonna run off the uh, MX Fuel battery platform. And here is the 36 inch power trowel. Check out how quiet this is, how effortless it is. So it kicks on, I mean, super smooth. We can power it up with a nice throttle here. Effortless, man, no vibration. We've got an adjustable handle up here. We've got the, obviously the pitch of the blades right here. We've got a safety switch. This is gonna get you at high speed, 25 minutes of runtime. I'm told it's gonna come with three batteries and a supercharger. So that means you're basically gonna be able to run all day. This is gonna give you 35 minutes of runtime on one battery. And it's gonna come with two batteries. One cool thing about this edger, you see that this is gonna spin around. So if you're going up against a wall, it's not gonna do any damage and it's gonna get super close to the edge so both of these great options if you were working inside you're doing things where you don't want the noise you don't want the extra added vibration so when you go home at night you don't feel it and obviously you don't have the gas to deal with whether that's the smell the cost pretty dang sweet so when is the rider coming when are you guys going to do a rider we're always innovating. We're always innovating. next year pipeline 2024 i can't say when Four battery rider, Greg, with two, <laughs> two 36 inch power trials on the sides. This is the updated Gen 2 14 inch cutoff saw. I've got the, I got the Gen 1, and while I would love to demo it, I made a bad mistake and I've got my white tennis shoes on. So that's it. This is the uh, concrete cutter for cutting control joints. Bring it up to speed, and then pull the lever. That's that simple. We're going to dive into the material. Oh, yeah, there's no vibration. I know this is really riveting content, Greg. I only cut about 14 inches, but that thing is laser straight. Very easy to use, no vibration, dust control. This is a pretty sweet little tool, man. You guys know I love pack out. The only thing I noticed, and I probably should ask somebody if there's other stuff, but they just came out with the four drawer pack out. So they're definitely not as deep of drawers as you get with the three drawer, but when you're doing fasteners, things like that, that seems like a really good option to get more storage out of the same area. We've got the new M12 jigsaw. This is a barrel grip, nice and well balanced. Obviously pretty lightweight because you're just running the M12, right? We've got the 5.0 high output, couple features of this thing. So here we've got the orbital selection. So on zero, it's going straight up and down. When we go to four, it's getting that more aggressive cut. That's what, that's what you're gonna gain. Over here, we've got a dust blower. So right now this is off. If we turn this on, it's gonna blow the dust away from your cut. Man, it just feels really good in your hand. You've got adjustable speed all the way down to an automatic function that's gonna sense the, the torque basically, I do believe on the motor and it's gonna ramp it up. And other than that, I think this is gonna fit any, any coping uh, feet that are out there on the market, but you guys probably just wanna see this cut. So let's go ahead and give ourselves a nice cut. We're gonna start with no orbital function and no dust and we're in automatic okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and speed this up and you guys will see the difference in speed well 
Yeah, I'm going to turn the orbital function up and you'll see the difference in how much more aggressive it cuts. So it's not going to be great for quality when you cut that fast, but if you've got to make some nice quick cuts. Now, let's go ahead and make another cut and we're going to turn this uh, blower function on. See how it just blew all your material away so you can get a good visual on this. So we're going to talk about big part of today, which is their new Red Lithium Forge. Now this is the 6.0 amp hour. And the big thing is that this is a new battery pack. They've basically gone down to the bottom of it, re-engineered it, rebuilt this thing for a ton of, ton of great things. I'm not gonna go through every spec, but the big takeaway is this six amp hour battery, the Forge, is gonna be comparable to power in this 12 amp hour high output. So yes, this is gonna give you double the runtime, but this is gonna give you the same power. And it's not just about power. The other big thing is that when you pair this battery with the supercharger, it is going to keep you working because you can put this thing on the supercharger, get 80% of your runtime back in just 15 minutes. That is crazy. So even though this is half the gas tank as a 12 amp hour battery, you're gonna be able to get back to work in 15 minutes and have 80% of your charge. So what we're gonna do is a quick demo. We've got a standard red lithium 5.0. This is not the high output. And we've got a 12 amp hour high output battery. We're gonna go ahead and run the saw through three layers of half inch OSB. Hopefully you guys will be able to see it because I'm sure I will as the user, but hopefully it'll correlate to the video too. We're gonna to start with a five amp hour battery. Okay, not bad, not bad. We'll go ahead and throw the 12 amp hour in. Yeah, I can rip through this pretty good. The big thing is I can go ahead and put this smaller, lighter, battery that charges super fast in and I should be getting the same exact power output. So there you go. I don't know. Obviously I haven't used it in the field for any long amount of time. It's going to have a coating over top of this to protect it from your greases, your oils, your you know, brake cleaners, all that good stuff. I'm pretty excited to see it out in the field. This is a big part of Pipeline 23 is this new battery platform, the Red Lithium Forge. All right, so we're gonna do this quick test. We've got the Forge battery on this high torque. This is the, by the way, the brand new high torque. Um, this thing is amazing. It's so much lighter weight than the one that we have, which is I think the second generation. This is third generation. We're gonna do a quick demo. Nothing is pre-drilled, okay? 5.0 battery, new red lithium Forge. Get it on. It's a noticeable difference. It might not be extremely different, but over the course of a day, if you're driving something, you know, incrementally faster, it's gonna save you time and make you money, right? So definitely an impressive tool, but also paired with the new Red Lithium Forge, it's gonna just give you a better, better performance output. So this is something that I might not use every day, but it's a super cool niche tool. I love that Milwaukee has such a huge like breadth of tools and they're now doing like these niche tools so this is a m18 strut shear got to say that slow because it's kind of hard I'll show you how it works real quickly so first off this little spot right here so you're going to put your strut in right and it can only go in one way there's a nice little die that you have to go into and right here this is going to be a, a good guide that it's four inches from the cut the shear so what that means is on the strutting every either center of hole or center of, I guess I'm gonna call it the flat area, that is two inches. So if you go at a four inch offset, you know that if I put line it up with the center, I'm gonna cut in the center of a strut. So we'll go ahead and make a quick cut and then I'll show you how to change the die. Super easy, super clean. If you wanna change the die real quickly, now I can take out the die this one comes out next. And then you can swap it out with whatever size that you want. So super quick, easy change. I just kind of told you a little bit about this tool and then Eric. Eric is yeah, a great friend, man. Hey, yeah. Good Thanks, looking man. friend, but he is a it's plumber. So you're, you're better than Are we doing work? Did I take these off? You can take those off. <laughs> 
So I asked Eric, because he came up as I was kind of still looking at this tool, and Eric, you do some strut work when you're doing some boilers and plumbing, yep. right? Yep. What do you normally use to cut it? Bandsaw. Kind of a universal tool, right? Yep. You use it for a lot of things. Cutting strut is hard to do because it's that multiple profile. Yeah. That's one of the things that makes it more difficult to cut, I guess. So yeah, this is pretty cool. I've never used it. You haven't used it yet? No. So I just use it. I want to, can I show you how to use it, man, real quick? Yeah. And I, what I want to do though. So we want, are going to do work. We are going to do work and I want oh, you yeah. to tell me because you typically do a bandsaw, yeah. what you think of the cut. So this is inch and five eighths strut, right? This is how easy it is. We're going to put this in here. Let's get a six inch piece, right? Okay. So we're just going to measure this right off of this guy here. Okay. Six inches. Okay, would you say that's faster or slower than a bandsaw? Well, it's faster. Okay, I have a loaded question. Would you say that's a cleaner cut than a bandsaw? Yeah, absolutely. I straighter. mean, it's not, it's not even sharp. It's straighter, for sure. Yeah. It's not sharp at all. You wouldn't have to, like, cap that off. Somebody's not going to cut themselves on it. Yeah, if you're going to run wires in that strut, it's not going to get rubbed on the edge. Like, this is a very nice cut. Would this be advantageous to you or not really in your application? If I was using it daily, absolutely. 100%. Yeah, if I, if, if I had strut going on my jobs all the time, yeah. is this something I would think about? It's a very, you know, purpose-built tool. Yeah. But look at the product. I mean, that, that sucker factory cut right but there. That's what I said is I like that Milwaukee does very well at making a niche tool Yeah. that really not everybody needs, but if you do this work day in and day out, this is literally a game changer. Look, the amount of productivity. Look, I could go into like how wasting material is costly and all that kind of stuff, whatever, but having the right tool for the job is actually way more efficient. Mm -hmm. Although I'm not going to turn around and cut a bunch of threaded rod and pipe with this, you know, yeah. so that's a one tool. So it is one a one trick use. pony. Yeah, it is. It is one trick pony, but I like it. Nice job. Hey, thanks for coming on the channel, dude, yeah, and letting dude. me know. Thank you. It's how my first you do time it. on your channel. Is it? It is. Dude, check this guy out. Mechanical <laughs> hub, best plumber. He did build a pole barn. He didn't call me to build it, but I'm joking, dude. You're Minnesota. <laughs> it's a nice looking shop, dude. Thanks, you did a man. Good job, I appreciate man. it. Really nice. So check him out. I'll put him down below. Hopefully, I remember that. If not, mechanical hub. Dot com yep. or at Mechanical Hub on Instagram, YouTube. YouTube. You, you bet. Nice, dude. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Pretty darn sweet. It's surprisingly light, 1.2 pounds yes, with a battery. With a battery. With, yeah, which is crazy. So Ryan just kind of gave me the rundown on this. You know, right here we're kind of demoing, going to cut some PVC, but think drywall cutoff tool. Uh, I don't know. What else, what else application would you guys use it uh, for? We have threaded rod that a lot of people cut with it as well, too. Okay. Uh, there's, it's, it's one of those tools that's got, it's kind of like a multi-tool. Yeah, a once you have it. applications, and once you have it, you find a lot more applications yeah. to do with it. I think the, the, the impressive thing is how lightweight it is. Sure. So it's not like a, um, it's not a scary tool to grab onto. Now, I have never used it. This is going to be my first time cutting, and I'm going to make a quick... I'm gonna try to cut this off. We got adjustable speed. It's got 12 different speeds on it from 5,000 to 27,500. Boom. That's so lightweight. So let's just see how this goes here. Give me a break, dude. That was, <laughs> that, was, uh, that, was, that was actually kind of fun. That was pretty dang sweet. Oh man, I pushed it too hard. That was on me, dude. That wasn't the tool. I literally shoved the tool in there. So that's pretty effortless, right? Let's say you want to make a quick change. We've got the lock right here. So like most things you're going to, it's going to lock in the collet, right? Well, this right here, this unscrews and it becomes your wrench. So I can make my quick tool change, use this. It's slotted basically. So it fits right around that collet. I tighten it up and then I put it back in. So I don't have to have a tool. It's kind of like tool free because it's right here included yep. in the tool. Good innovation, I like that. And man, this is uh, this is kind of fun. Alright guys, that is it. Another year of pipeline in the books. I didn't know what I was going to expect to see or what Milwaukee was going to show us. I was not expecting a new battery, but the nice thing is that that new battery is going to be backwards and forwards compatible, which once again is a big reason Milwaukee has always had my loyalty. I love the fact that my batteries and tools have always been, you know, interchangeable. It doesn't matter. Even though I've had them for a long time, those old tools still work with new batteries and vice versa. So that is awesome to see the new battery. It's going to be super powerful. I love the fact that you can charge these things in like 15 minutes up to 80%. A lot of great tools. Obviously, I love niche tools. Everybody makes a good drill, a good saw. 
but who makes all those other tools that fill in the gaps, make my job easier. The things that uh, you know maybe you don't need all the time, but when you do need them, you want a tool to make your job easier. That's, that's like the goal, right? Those niche tools. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit that uh, big thumbs up. Definitely, if you uh, are new to the channel, thanks for joining me on this video. And if you think about it and you want to stick around for more construction content, hit that subscribe button down here. But uh, yeah, I'm very thankful that Milwaukee invited us out here to, to see all these new tools. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the little bit of a, a video here that I, I made for you guys. So also, big thanks. Greg brought Greg along for the ride and he was the one behind the camera. Greg, real quick, what was your favorite thing that you saw from Milwaukee? I mean, it, it was all cool, I think, personally. That's but a cop-out answer. I think I think what I'm excited to see is what they do with the MX line. Yeah. What, what their, the new tools that they're gonna come out with and the possibilities with that. Yeah, MX is cool. I mean, they literally overnight doubled the run time. And by the end of the year, they're gonna double, almost double their tools. That's that right. They have for it. Yep, that is right. So very cool, I love it. Thanks, Milwaukee. Thank you guys, and we'll catch you on the next video.